What is up, footy lovers? It's Kyle Lloyd Kanotek coming at you from Sweden. In today's video, we're gonna look at a forward scissor. So you're not gonna explode outside, but you're gonna explode in the same direction. This is a great move for specific situations. A lot of players use it at the highest level, but we're gonna look at Ronaldo, the king of scissors, for our demo. So stay tuned and enjoy. We'll start from breaking the clip down. First, we'll show you the raw version of this scissor from two different angles. Then we'll break the clip down and analyze it. To start the analyze, we'll show Ronaldo's momentum and movement into the ball. And also, if by the dash arrow, you can see the angle the defender is coming in to defend him. Now that Ronaldo has received the ball, you can see the defensive position he is facing. You can see that his defender is showing him to the line and has covered defense in the center. So it is very likely his defender knows he's gonna go to the outside, which means he has to do something to get a step on his defender. If Ronaldo gets to the line, he has a great option since his forward is making a hard run in the middle of the center backs. So here we're gonna start to analyze the move. Look at the direction of his dribbling before he executes this move. And now look where he ends up after the scissor and what direction he's going in. As you probably noticed, the explosion from this move is almost in the exact same direction he was dribbling before the move. This next angle helps you see it a bit more clearly. Now that we've seen how effective this move can be, let's look at how to do it. You can use the cones and the white line as a reference of the direction I'm dribbling in and the direction I explode to. So whether you do the move after a touch like I do here, or you do the move after just running up to the ball, you're gonna wanna keep your body over the ball. So we're, not, we're gonna look at the plant foot, but I don't want players to focus on where they're putting their plant foot. I want them to focus on where the ball is in relation to their body and using their peripheral vision, the bottom of their vision, to barely see the ball. As soon as we feel our plant foot hit the ground, we wanna scissor around the ball. But the key is that we need to extend our knee or straighten our leg when scissoring around the ball because this will allow us to land more behind the ball and less to the side of the ball, which allows us to explode forward easily. You can see the explosion touch from this move is taken by raising your whole hip or leg similar to what you would do if you were accelerating, which makes it such a good move because you can explode and accelerate naturally. Here I show you a traditional scissor where you're exploding to the side of a defender that is directly in front of you. We'll look at this in comparison to the forward scissor to see the small differences. The first difference we'll look at is the angle of explosion. Look at the scissor on the left, how we're exploding forward, and the scissor on the right, how we're exploding more at an angle. And this is actually coordinated to the second difference because where your plant foot lands will allow you to explode at different angles in different ways. As you see on the scissor on the left, our plant foot is landing behind the ball, which allows us to easily explode forward. Whereas the scissor on the right, our plant foot is landing wider and closer to even with the ball, which allows us to explode outside easier. Here we can see the difference of what we do with our scissoring leg or the leg that goes around the ball. If you can see the scissor on the left, our leg is extended or more straight when it goes around the ball. Whereas as the scissor on the right, we're picking up our hip and our knee is a little bit more bent, allowing us to land wider. And we'll watch a couple more times for full review. And we're back. I hope you all enjoyed this video. 
Remember, the little details make a big difference at the next level. And I also want to note that there will be a second video or a part two on specific drills you can use to master this scissor as well as prepare you for game-like situations. If you have any comments on this video or suggestions for future videos, please leave those below. Also, if you would be so kind to like or subscribe, it will help me get my videos to you faster and easier, in addition to helping me reach more great footy lovers like yourself. So, thank you very much for watching and have a great day. I also want to give a special thanks to the YouTube creator I got these Ronaldo clips from and you'll see his YouTube channel and the video linked in the description below. Once again, if you're on your phone, you can click the like button here, the subscribe button down here, the notifications button right here, and then you can click here for more videos. If you're on your computer, you can go down and click this thumbs up to like it. You can go hover over this icon, don't press it, hover, and then you press this button to subscribe. You can go press this icon, and you'll be able to get the notifications bell up there in the corner. And you can also see more videos here.